In this demonstration, we'll go over the dynamic feature set for SharePoint 2010 when using SciCapture to capture documents. Um, in the product, we've always had this notion of uh, what we call dynamic capture, and that's the ability to grab data about a document from a number of methods, whether it be reading a barcode or a checkbox, using our classification engine to automatically identify documents, and then take that data and translate it to SharePoint um, into library, folder, uh, and now site and content type uh, setting and routing. So now we can take, uh, take a document, extract information, and auto route to a site based on what we find. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give you a couple demos. The first one is, is um, just an overview of the technology. We've built a demo to show you how we can use a, a, an optical mark recognition routing sheet to route documents to um, a site, library, content type, and, and folder. So let's go ahead and, uh, and grab this one. And I'll go ahead and import this, uh, this set. And note that um, Site Capture can be run either interactively from a desktop or we can turn on automation. So I could pick up images from uh, a network scanner, scanning copier, or fax machine and auto process them without the user ever seeing the, uh, the actual Site Capture interface. But that would be a pretty boring demo. So. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and import this uh, doc set. And if you take a peek real quick, um, all I've done to, to demonstrate the capabilities, uh, one of our most popular technologies in the product is, is what's called a routing sheet, which can either be a combination of barcodes and or checkboxes. So in this example, to show the depth of the feature set, I've got a section for site, library, content type, and folder. Now all of these within our product can be translated into SharePoint. So I can collect this information and then attach it, let's say, to a site or a library or route to a particular content type or create folder structures. So your entire scanning capture process can be automated. So let's go ahead and let's move on into indexing and I'm going to go ahead and uh, I've set up a template for this routing sheet and you can see I auto extract information. Now I map those into fields within SciCapture and then those fields can be mapped to the different tiers within SharePoint. So site, library, folder, content type and then also we can combine these or concatenate them um, for file naming standards. So you can see I'll just tap through these real quick just to so, show you how we're automatically collecting all this information. And then the final two steps we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and automate. We're going to convert these to searchable PDFs and then we'll migrate them based on a rule set into uh, a SharePoint 2010 site. Now let's go ahead and take a peek at the site and I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and navigate to our, our uh, core site here. And, and what I've done is I've created um, a site with four subsites. So the dynamic site you can see has an Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and Delta site which corresponds to the different checkboxes on that routing sheet. So whatever I check on the routing sheet gets auto-routed into the library uh, or into the site, into the library. We create folder structures based on boxes that are checked and then we also name the file and set the content type all based on information on that sheet. Okay, so you can see it's a very powerful tool um, to either extract or embed information in, in documents that uh, allow them to be auto-routed into a SharePoint document uh, site, library, folder, and uh, setting content type and, and file naming. Now let's go ahead and uh, show you a more practical example. That one was merely to show you how the technology functions. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at expense reports. Okay, every organization deals with them. Um, how do you route them into SharePoint intelligently uh, so that they can go into the right location, right folder, be named correctly, content type set, things like that. So let's go ahead and grab this one. And this is actually an example I've built where um, we've actually put uh, two-dimensional barcodes or 2D barcodes onto these expense reports. Okay, so now you can see as we capture the documents, we actually auto-extract all the data 
or metadata about the document and place it into our fields. Now these fields, as you can see, there's some that uh, define structure within SharePoint or where we're going to route the document based on site and library um, and department is actually a folder. And then there's others that uh, are column metadata, so the employee ID and name. So let's go ahead and let this uh, go through and in, in this case we're going to auto index OCR and then auto route into SharePoint all based on that information. And this demo lends itself really nicely to uh, hot foldering. So you could have uh, a single one touch on all your copiers in your organization for expense reports or, or anything you like. Walk up, touch the button, we auto read the barcode, route to the correct destination based on what we find. Okay, so let's go ahead and, uh, and go back to our site here. And in that barcode, uh, we define the site in which we wanted to route those documents to. We define the library, so the accounting site, the expense report library. We define the folder, uh, which was in this case the department, so sales. Um, we told the product to auto create subfolders based on the employee ID. And then we told it to uh, automatically populate the columns as well as define the content type and automatically name employee ID dash content type dash uh, date timestamp. So you can see it's a very powerful tool to route documents intelligently to SharePoint sites, libraries, folder structures, and set the file naming scheme as well as the content type of the document. So if you have any questions or any uh, like to see any further demonstrations or how we actually configure this, you can contact sales at SciGen.com. 949-916-7700, extension 230. Thanks.